to that extraordinary moment in a Dallas courtroom just a short time ago. The former Dallas police officer, Amber Geiger, found guilty of murder. She had been facing 99 years in prison. She was sentenced to 10 years, eligible for parole in five. Geiger shot and killed an innocent man in his own apartment. She said she thought she had walked into her own apartment. The victim's brother before the sentencing testifying about the loss of his brother and then asking the judge if he could do something. He asked to give that police officer a hug. The two then in an emotional embrace in front of that courtroom. This is what they all saw. For the family of the victim, a moment showing the power of faith, of forgiveness. The jury then delivering her sentence. ABC's Marcus Moore in Dallas. The jury that convicted Amber Geiger of murder for killing her neighbor tonight, handing down their sentence. 10 years imprisonment in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. The 10 years, far less than the possible life behind bars the former Dallas police officer faced. Relatives of both of John's family in tears. I forgive you. His brother asking the judge to hug Geiger. Can I give her a hug, please? Please. And he did. Even the judge in tears, the two consoling each other. But outside the courtroom, his mother lashing out at police. If Amber Geiger was trained not to shoot in the heart, my son would be standing here today. The jury taking less than two hours to reach their decision. This after Geiger's mother took the stand during today's sentencing hearing, asking for leniency. She could have taken his place. But the former Dallas police officer faced new scrutiny after prosecutors entered into evidence, text, and social media posts some have described as racially insensitive, including one with a dog-owning friend. The owner telling Geiger the dog, quote, may be racist. It's okay, the former officer replied, I'm the same. Tonight, supporters of that former officer relieved as Geiger prepares to spend years behind bars. And Marcus Moore with us live tonight again from Dallas. That 10-year sentence was far less than what prosecutors had been asking for. Yeah, David, they wanted 28 years, at least 28 years, as that's how old both of them would have turned on Sunday. But now Amber Geiger could be up for parole after just five years. But, David, that moment in the courtroom when John's brother hugged Amber, it was a moment of strength and of grace with the entire country watching. And then after that... The judge gave Amber a Bible. David. Marcus Moore. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.